Amirat Bai, Karbi Nimso Chintu Rasong KNCA, dated 27 September 2022. Honorable Madam, we do respect the undersigned on behalf of the Karbi Nimso Chintu Rasong KNCA, a progressive Karbi Women's Association representing the downtrodden women folk of Karbi Anglo and West Karbi Anglo would like to draw your kind attention in the following sentences. We would like to bring your notice that the women of West Karbi Anglo are facing with various problems such as livelihood problem, price rise, social security, health care, education, etc. That KSA, a leading women organization from its inception since 1986, 1st August, stands for women folk and fought for the upliftment of women and their right in the society. Madam, as you all aware of the fact that, like other parts of Assam, women of Hill Autonomous Region face especially livelihood the increasing of price rise on essential commodities like eatable items, petrol, diesel, kerosene and LPG, uh, etc. For which people are badly affected and also due to COVID-19 pandemic during lockdown, and flood problem of some areas also badly affected. Most of the rural poor women have taken to loan from microfinance banks in Bandhan, Anohar, Anapurna, Northeast small, small Finance Banks, and Satin, etc. for means of livelihood and to start small business. But due to lockdown, they were badly affected. Some were unable to repay the debt. The microfinance employees have threatened them in blocking their documents such as PAN, Adhar, Votar ID, and also threaten them to put in jail. Their forceful act and misbehavior done by the SN in the name of recovery of loan. In some rural areas, they have taken documents and collect loan recovery installment, but were not deposit the money in the respective microfinance bank. But the employees continue harassing the loan holder women door to door in the village. So we request your good office to convey to the Chief Minister of Assam this food that kindly to waive microfinance loan for rural poor women to which they would be grateful to the promises during pre-election campaign. Secondly, ma'am, in West Caribbean law, girls and women are not safe anymore. The growing increasing of violence on minor rape molestation, kidnapping, murder, and human tra trafficking cases are very high in the tribal areas than before, which lead to a very serious threat to social security problem of the district. In West Caribbean law, medical facility is not sufficient for the rural poor and in hill and inferior parts, people do not get proper medical facility for which mortality rate of children and mother are increasing. According to Right to Education Act, education is compulsory for all children. But here in West Caribbean law, the condition of some schools and its functioning it functions is very poor. Insufficient teaching staff in the school is not possible to run the school smoothly. Apart from teaching, workload of other duties imposed on teachers which hamper to perform their duties properly. Therefore, we urge upon your good, your good office to intervene into the matter of microfinance loan problem, allowing me to take up our following demands. One, what should be loan for all rural poor women of West Caribbean law from microfinance bank, that is Bandhan, Arohar, Anapurna, Northeast Small Finance Bank, Setting, etc. Number two, stop harassment, cheating, and forceful act on loan holders, rural poor women, in the name of recovery of loan done by microfinance employees. Three, stop price rise on essential commodities, that is, eatable items, petrol, diesel, kerosene, LPG, gas, electricity, bill, etc. Four, provide proper free education for girls, KG up to PG. Five, Provide social security for girls and women and for women cell in every police station and police outpost to end violence.